um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, what we will be doing is, uh, we're gonna, well, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be working on a walking stick. Now, um, it's gonna seem like galaxy, but it, it really is not, not entirely sure. I don't, I don't think so. The way I'm going, it's, it, sh it shouldn't be anything, well, whatever. Well, you'll see what's going on. Okay, so uh, when starting a walking stick, you should mark where your hand's gonna go uh, on the walking stick. So what I suggest is you stand up and put your hand where it feels comfortable. So you take a pencil, all right, and what I would do is, because this, obviously I'm not standing up, but I'm just doing this as, as an example. Um, plus it feels comfortable. Uh, what you would do is you would mark where your hand is. So let's say it's right there and right there. And what I would do is add two fingers to that mark from above and below. Because this part you're not going to be painting. This is where the hand goes. Um, and also you would want to mark at the bottom because at some point you do have to stop painting uh, the walking stick. Um, so you just mark wherever you feel comfortable because you don't want your painting to uh, get ruined by the dirt from the walking stick when people actually use this. So you just mark it to where you think it should go. And you know, if you mess up, you're gonna paint the mark anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so the reason why I do that two finger thing over here is because not everybody's hand is the same especially for guys. Guys have bigger hands than we do. So I add two more fingers just for if it's a man's hand. There, theirs is much more uh, bigger. But it's it fits my hand perfectly even with the two extra spaces. It's perfect. Um, so what's going to be painted is from here all the way to where I marked and from here to here. Um, like I said, it's going to be somewhat galaxy themed. Um, I know, well, somewhat. It's in the air. It's the sky themed. I don't know if I'm going to do galaxy because it's... You'll see when it's done. Um, but, you know, the first thing you're going to do is get a paintbrush because it's such a big area, you are going to need a bigger paintbrush. But I'm using... Uh, one of these because I prefer to use this and what your first thing you're gonna do is just paint this and this black all right so I got I used a paper plate <laughs> as you can see I've already done lots of paintings <laughs> so we're gonna start off with black and I'm hoping this is only gonna take one coat so I'm just going to show you a little bit, and then I'll be right back. So, go right to the line, and just stroke down. I mean, this shouldn't even take long. I could probably keep you on here. And keep painting. Gotta make sure you get into every crevice of the stick. This might be a two coater. It might. And the thing is, it's okay if you get some of the black on the line, because when with most walking sticks, you carve out a little bit of the area where the hand needs to go. So don't worry about that at all. So just Keep painting.
just make sure you go up or down. Don't go sideways because don't know the line marks are going up the hard way. Don't notice it. So just keep going. between blue, purple, red, white. Those, those are the colors of the galaxy. Uh, well, we're going to do things a little different. I'm going to add a phoenix to it, which I have a picture that I'm going to go off of. Um, fix my mask a little bit. So um, let's just get started. Um, the phoenix is going to be over here, or somewhere on here. Um, but over here, I'm just going to leave it plain. And on top, I might do something, but I'm not entirely sure. Just, I'm really just winging everything. So, let's start off with, I have, it's called Island Blue, but I believe it's a little too light to be using. Uh, let me see a picture. Okay, let me move my wizard out of the way and bring up my laptop so I can see the picture I'm going to go for because I have no idea. You know, the funny thing is, I've never drawn a bird before, so don't get mad at me if it comes out looking all blah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Blue. Light blue. Color. Let's see if I decided to use something. I'll use a sponge. So let's take it and give it. Go like that, and you just make it on here. You're gonna just dab a little bit because you don't need. 
And because the background is black, if you make a mistake, it's not going to make a difference anyways. You could either paint it over or you could fix it with something else. So don't don't be discouraged. So far, that's what it's looking like. I'll zoom in later. This is the phoenix, um, I'll zoom in later, so now what I'll be working on is just the rest of it, you know, filling in the black spaces between the colors of blue and purple, um, and I'll get back to you on that after, so, alright.
right, and there it is. Um, you know, I didn't do um, the flames, a few flames, I didn't do a few flames going up because um, I think it would have taken away from a lot of the work that I did. Or I might put it in later, I don't know, you know, it's a work in progress. Well, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you guys later.